And here we go, Monster Four. see how they're zoned in right now they want to try and get some of this charity money they want to be the best among their peers they want to say we for the pro-am champions yeah not only that you take home a sweet sweet trophy mm -hmm. remember there's only two that's right well now we'll so there's four in the world and Ninja and Marshmallow took last year away. Oh, yeah, they already own those. So, you mean, if, if you're like Ninja, I'm thinking, I want to try it. I'd like a second gold pickaxe, you know, why, and then I have two, and then I can kind of dual wield them. So, I hear some people chanting, let's go, Ninja. That's what I'm talking about. Of course, of course. But here we go. These players are making their descent. Now, the question would be, are they going to swap things up? You think they're maybe thinking... I've got, you know, Tifu landing with me. Maybe I go somewhere else. You think just just stay the course? What do you think? No, absolutely. I think my rule of thumb is if you land in game one and you get just taken out, maybe give it another game. But if it doesn't work a second time, man, it is time to get out of there. As Brendan Yuri takes out Justin Jones. Wow. Encourage JD shuts down Valkyrie right out of the game. Let's see. Xavier Woods as well is down. We, we just talked about losing in the early game. Nick A30 had so many eliminations last time. This is why. If you land Fatal Fields, he's ready to bring it to you. And it looks like he's got himself a flint knocking. Xavier Woods, man, all that smack talking. Even Royalistic are not doing so hot, unfortunately. <laughs> well, this is Nick A30 we're talking about. Pretty, uh, pretty fearsome. Pretty fearsome here. But over on the other side, Courage JD, Renninger. We saw Courage eliminate Valkyrie. She's been... Gone. That's it. Back in the lobby, waiting for that next bus. That's right. And Brendan took out someone else there. It was Ju Justin Jones. But over on your right-hand side, guys, here's the format. Don't forget, 15th. So get them a couple points. That's a long way out, up to 10th. And then 5th as a duo. And last but not least, that Victor Royale. Every elimination up until that point, or up until then, is worth one point. But a little bit of a skirmish going on here is... Courage is getting shot up, so he's already lost the shield. He's, he's down to just bandages. He needs to make something happen, man. He's got to find a half shield, some minis, anything at all, even a medkit to get him back up to the 100. Brendan's in the same position, right? They don't have much to work with. Ammo looking very, very sparse right now. Basically, whatever's in the, the gun is what they have. Yep, no shield. Oh, Barely anything else. They're in like a weird pinch here. Those players have that high ground. And you know, when, when a good player lands a, a shot like that, that just gives them confidence. Like, hey, they don't even have shield. I hit both of them. That's why uh, Taven Bryan's pushing up here. He's got the 100 shield already. And you got to think, too, as well, right? Like, you, you send a few shots their way first, and then you've waited 30 seconds before they sending more shots over. If you don't see blue numbers, which is those shields, you're like, oh, they don't, they, they're probably at 75. Off of whatever we hit them for. So you know they're looking to hunt these players down. They want to shut down Courage JD. Look at this. They're just making rounds. Are they in this house? No, nope, not in this one. Loving these angles right here. Lemonix is just looking around right now. He's on the hunt. Slurper Juice, or the Slurp Juice is already ticking here. So with every second that passes by, his health is going up. Some shots coming in from the side using this little bit of distraction. He's going for that high ground. A little one, two right there. It's his now to take. He got a handful of builds. Now he's got the drum gun in hand. He also even has the swarm lift. But look at this. Tavern finds Brendan Yuri. He is gone. Where is Courage? Lemonix he gets picked out. up. That's it. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I heard this right, Chandler Riggs got a pickaxe elimination. I think we got to go to this replay. I got to know. Chandler, go. Oh. Reliving the walking dead saying, get oh. away. From me, zombie. <laughs> wow, find it. dude, that was aggressive. Look at him go here, just beating down players. No weapons, doesn't even need them. Wow, that really was like the Walking Dead, because all he had after was a pistol. That's, That's it. Right. Back with Hopping Ninja, in. man. Oh, his teammates down. He's probably just got to abandon him. He's got to say, look, you know what? We're not really in a good spot to take this. Maybe we we'll just fail. Now, if you're Ninja, you know, you gotta think, I can't let this just go. Look at that, immediately turns. Muzelk gonna take a face will lead there. Gotta be careful. Muzelk does know how to use those weapons. He's also a 
daily Fortnite player. Hopping back to the Happy Hamlet, one shot girl. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Very happy to see Julie here. This morning she woke up, she was saying, not feeling too hot. But in the end, she went to the doctor, got it all taken care of, and now she's joining us. Very happy to see her here. So of course, Fortnite fam, if you're tuning in, please just go send some love her way. I know she's very much appreciated, but look at this zone right now. You know, these guys are sitting very comfortably in Happy Hamlet. And uh, you know, if you, there's this play space they've got to work with. Uh, some of it's in the water. Ooh, another very weird zone. Super south zone here. Whenever that happens, it typically leads to more congestion, but hopping in with Jarvis, who's got this high ground. We're at Paradise Palms. Jacob lands in a nice little stinker right there. It's going to flush him out. And uh, he's peeking. He knows where he's at. This is more ticks for Jarvis. That's another 15 health. Sends in a second. Doesn't quite connect that time, but at least he knows. All right, this box has been flushed out here. Gives his teammate a little bit of time to kind of gather together. Myers is just a little too far here from Jarvis, though. That's good. I, I really like, even if you didn't necessarily get a bunch of damage over, you're just, you're just using that to buy yourself a little bit of time, collect yourself, meet back up with your duo, and then reassess the situation. Now, Jacob, he's making a pretty aggressive push here. He knows that Jarvis is up on that hill, and he's trying to just be a little more aggressive. He's trying to find an angle if possible, but he's like, look, we don't need to be fighting head on right now. Let's just keep moving. Let's just make it into safety, and then we'll, we'll kind of deal with this threat in a little bit. Yeah, you got to respect it. He's definitely trying to back off right now and see if he can find the prime time opportunity. Maybe bait him in and, and get a couple shots. That's why he's backing up here, seeing if they can fall for this little bit of a trap to expose themselves. But that's going to kind of diffuse itself. We got back to Cody Walker and, and Lachlan here. Now, Lachlan, if you were watching the elimination feed, he just picked up Pokemon. She has been eliminated. Lachlan, codename Elf, codename Locky here. He is hungry for He sees the player running there. A few great shots. They're on very low HP, and there you go. Martin Doherty is picked up as well. And you know, this is looking like a whole different game. The last one, we were barely at 70 plus players alive. You know, it took a little bit of time, but I think we got that first game jitter out the way. This is only Storm Wave 1. Leading into the second zone here, and, and look at the shots haven't stopped. I mean, Lachlan is disgusting, all right? He's ready. He is honed in, looking for more players. But look at this, man. They are in the storm. Now, they don't have too far to go, but this is just damage you don't want to be taking right now. Oh, and there is a baller there, so see Lachlan <laughs> running straight for it. He's going to have to dip out on Cody. Sorry, bud. He's like, so, I, I'm going to be okay. <laughs> just... <laughs> Just make it into safety. I think, so Cody, I feel like he probably should have transferred the baller over to Cody just because he's got a shield to work with, but I think he's making this aggressive play because he's trying to get ahead of Cody, just make sure there's no one just ahead of them. Because if they make a wrong rotation, they could be cleaned up off of it. Yeah, when it comes down to the storm, definitely is, or begs the question, right? Hey, you got a storm flip, you'll be okay for a little bit. If you desperately need it, he does have a make it as well, so yeah. he's okay here, but hopping over with Matt Don here and FBX Sad there in a little bit of a fight. R.O. Grimes got the high ground, but look who it is. Airwalk taking up two players. He doesn't care. He's right in the box here. His teammate's gone down. Airwalks versus Scarlet and Ellie here. Snickers are coming out. Airwalks is chewing it up. Sad actually got the pick there. So this is not looking too good for Airwalks. I think too much smack talk in the previous game. Scarlet does take him out. And now Sad's making a full on push here. FBX Sad. Here comes the dynamite. That storm flip just gonna minimize the effective play space, force people into Sad's clutches here. He's looking to find another elimination. He's got himself that slur, but don't forget that's healing over time. He's gonna just wait it out. Another storm flip coming out. Okay, run for the hills. Don't forget this is five damage to your HP. And look at this, they've only got so much room to work with right now. Sad finding himself in a little bit of an awkward position. Look at this, Fuse up is here. He's like, hello, are you fighting? I'd like some of this, please. This is, this is just perfect for Sad here. Now he's just turning everything around at this point. Matt needs to jump in here and help his teammate out. Is he gonna be able to do it? Yo, look at Sad with the quick Eddie right there, showing why he's oh. here today. Hello, representing Bye Bye himself. You jumped into the wrong battle, buddy, as he is still holding it down. He's gonna make Muzelk very sad after that performance. Come on, guys, you know I had to. Now the question is, what happens next? Juju is by himself. He's sitting in a one by one. Now he doesn't know there's a launch pad. We see the launch pad, don't tell him. 
got Ellie and Scarlet over there, and, and Sad is now just thinking, okay, I definitely know there was a duel while I was fighting. Muse up, tried to get cheeky and, and try to go toe to toe with us. Mistakes. Oh no. Jordan Fisher has been eliminated there in the top left in your elimination feed. I this whole spell disaster. Yep, Koa, definitely someone to be afraid of. Traveling all the way from South Korea to be here today, but Scarlet and Ellie, man, just you gotta respect Sad. He pushed off four players in that situation. Matt Judon, unfortunately, just wasn't doing or contributing too much in those final moments, so he really was up there just kind of putting it all down. Took out Moose South, but get Ellie here. Scarlet, they're out. This slip frame is gonna be so helpful as he zooms by. Another fight, he's like, all right, time to start dolphining is what we call when you're in the slipstream. You just kind of come out and then kind of go back in and launch up and then come back down. Now we're all over to Ninja. Oh my goodness, look at this. Marshawn yet again has been down. So Ninja's got to make something happen. Hopefully he picked up the card because there is a, a respawn van here in Lucky Landing. But look, there's even more players. Ooh, Ninja and Bucky. Oh, Lupo is here. Tibu is right around the corner. And Dr. Lupo is right above that as well. But Ninja trying to take on Bucky. No, this is the wrong player to fight. Bucky's already qualified for this. Oh, he tried. It doesn't even matter. Kenneth and Bucky pushed right on through. This is why he's going to the World Cup, guys. And that's going to be their first elimination. You can see, too, when Bucky picked up the, the uh, elimination there with Kenneth, there was big smiles. They're like, that's oh. Ninja. You know that's a confidence booster. Yes, I got to meet uh, Bucky's mother and Bucky. We did a little bit of a interview earlier today, and she said she's his biggest supporter. She almost said, I, I believe word for her, said, I, I, I fangirl for, for my son, and, and that's her biggest supporter. But that's so awesome. That's the kind of support you love to see in the, in the Fortnite community. But, you know, I'm around here. I'm curious. What's our boy Dr. Lupo doing? Let's let's take a moment to see. So remember, Jordan Fisher got picked up. There he is, giving the, the finger gun. I like it. Loadout's looking pretty good. He's got that single shadow bomb. If he's got to try and make himself to safety. So if I'm Dr. Lupo, I'm thinking, all right, what do I need to do here to get placements first, right? Let's at least make it into that top 15 first. Then I'll look to pick up E-Limbs. You know, people are not going to really be paying attention to a single player if he's playing it right, playing it slow, playing it a little bit uh, sneaky. But I mean, there's still quite a number of big names left in the lobby. Aiden, Lemix, Patriota, Nick A30, Cloak, KU, Lachlan, Bruce Brown, just to name a few, Nick Merckx as well. That's right, and don't forget, guys, if you see something you like, make sure you guys use that hashtag, Summer Block Party, and hit us up on C uh, social media, guys. We love to see the clips and those interactions. I'll be sharing everything that comes my way. But is, we saw some players hiding. It was Scarlet in the field and they turn cloak now they're sending off some fire shots here jacob is sitting in the dynamite nice little window play here he's got that right camera peek is he gonna be able to find the opportunity is one all just kind of putting in some pressure well, their team was ready they heard they you know if you're, if you're playing fortnite for any extended period of time you know what that Ooh. distinct dynamite sound sounds like 70 over onto that player though that was a blue number, so the question is how much shield do they have left? Were they on 100? Were they less? Jacob, Listen, he, he already knows. He hit the dynamite, so he's going in right here. Look at He's just trying to get this shot, Whoa! and that's one! Great shot on Douglas! He took the wall so quick! And now look at this. Someone else trying to build above him, and Jacob is saying, look, let's, there's someone trying to aggress. We've got to build. Got to make sure we can get around him, but do it in a good way to make sure we get this next rotation safe. And look at this. Jacob's like, look, we got to start making our way over. Come on, make your way over to me. The power, though. He's in a tough spot right now. Hey, but I love it. They just counted that as a huge victory for them, right? Just, you know what? We got the Elim. Just going to back out of here now. Bye-bye to your teammate. Get some fresh loot. And they're off. To, they're off. They're going to get the next zone. And Flake, man, if he gets too aggressive, you got to understand, this guy already took care of your teammate. Oh, that's what happens. Jacob says, ah, oh, you didn't forget about you, buddy. Thanks for coming this way and <laughs> takes him right out the game. So while Connor's in here like, all right, you know, we should probably make, you know, make this rotation. His duo partner's like, I've been, I've been watching this guy. All right, yeah, no, he's like, listen, like, yeah, yeah, we'll make the rotation, sure. Blah, gosh, he walked here, check it out. Over with Kurt. Waiting, biting. They've got a launch pad when they need to bail. It looks like Kurt also had that RPG in hand. Look at the loadout coming in right now. Ooh. 
I like it, I like it. And they're in the current safe zone. Feeling pretty good. And, and I love this right here. Ewok rocking that Falcon jersey to represent her, her teammate. Kurt Van Kurt was on the Falcons. That's pretty cool right there. A little bit of extra love right there. You can see she's throwing out a couple pings right here, trying to communicate with her duo. For an opportunity here. I like that Ewok is pre-editing things. She's waiting. She's not confirming it. She's saying, if we need to bail, I've got the, the editing ready. Here we go. The launch pad comes out. That's the kind of things, those little things are going to help you level up your gameplay when you're playing Fortnite. And now here we go. Ewok looking to get aggressive. I mean, look, we know Ewok is insane. She's about to show you guys why. Someone's letting out some shots. Her teammate is split up. What's she going to do? She's got to back him up here. Look at the thought process there as well. We know shots are coming in, and instead of her trying to figure out where the player is going, she's trying to reinforce their move, making sure this is as stable as possible. You hear explosions. She's going to pass over some half shields here, the, some of the minis, excuse me. And now this is where things, it was good too. It's her in the next safe zone. There's, oh gosh, Nick A30 is here. Is, oh, is Nick who's bothering them over in the box? Oh, goodness. Okay, this is gonna be a good battle here, Zeke. We might see unfold in just a bit. Ewok messing with a couple edits, trying to decide where she's gonna wanna be. Got another see minute. a couple of fun facts about the player Cam. Ewok, a 13-year-old streamer. And you're the youngest Fortnite player here at the uh, Pro-Am. So, the youngest competitor we can see here. And oh! Oh, Nick wins the exchange the right there. Back. It was very close, but Kurt, you gotta do something. You gotta go quick. Start applying pressure. He's trying, he's trying. Oh, so close. Kurt Ben Kurt almost won the exchange right there, but Nick was just a little faster on the draw. Beat Ewok to the wall and punished in those moments. Nick had a fantastic last game, was only shut down because he didn't have materials. You guys tuned in a little late, but he made it all the way through to end game. And now look, they have four eliminations ready. Don't forget, they're also in the top 10, like literally on the leaderboards, the standing. So, showing you guys why. So take a look at Tifu's kind of trailing behind, no eliminations. If you've been watching Nova Qualifiers, you know this is classic Tifu. He's, he's got an abundance of material, sitting on a nice little perch for the bird's eye view, waiting for enemies to make a mistake. He is so good at capitalizing on any little error that enemy players make. If they make a wrong edit, if they make a wrong build, a wrong rotation, he is always in the right place, in the right mindset to take advantage of that. Josh Hart and him are gonna begin their rotations there. Now, I always say this, don't forget, top 15 is the, the first round of placing points. We need another seven duels to fall before those points come out. Jordan Jones and Gotaga are going to be picked up there in the elimination Feed. And look at this next half in, half out, man. That circle is, is dangerous. It's better than going south, though, because at least they're going to stay on the land. So True. you got to count your small blessings while you can right there. Now another look here. Tifu always got those <laughs> front row tickets. He's always he just, he just hit the show. like, I'm sitting up on this perch. I'll tell you what, let's come over here and build a new perch. This is my home. Chris Thompson's got that minigun. He doesn't have a lot of ammunition. He's actually really hurting here. Fortnite turn, we like to call this shambles. He is in shambles. They want an elimination. They need something. Because, like you said, man, they've got basically nothing to work with. Now, he's probably calling out this enemy team here in front. You gotta think Dank Ops is probably up on the high ground just above him. He's getting a nice little uh, surveilling the land. You know, who do I think I see? I recognize these types of builds. He's just looking all around. He's like, oh no, slips out oh the middle. No! Took some fall damage right there. Gave him a little too much pressure. He's trying to sneak <laughs> underneath those builds. He's looking at his team like, man, yeah. I'm so sorry, dude. He was, he was maybe a little too focused up on what the task uh, at hand, you know, what was in front of him. Look at this Aiden. He's ready, man. He's swooping in like an eagle, just taking away the high ground from everyone else. Aiden is our number one elimination leader in this current round so far, guys. He's at five elims. Oh. That's a storm flip. It's pushing him way up top. This, this is scary because the higher he goes, the you know, more unsafe it becomes if it's not held up by too much. He's got to be real careful. They, they don't seem to be in any danger right now, which is he's really got, He's got a rift. You know, making the quick rift play as you're falling, 
Pretty tough. Nick Merckx, though, going to be picked up by Connor Bell and Jacob and shut out of the lobby, especially at a toxic team. You hate to see it. More eliminations coming in. Josh Hart as well goes down to power. And look at this. Aiden finds Patriota. Dude, I see Bucky all in the Elon feed as well right now. So Bucky looks like he's having a great game. Out comes the Rift to go. Oh, it's time to rotate. Lachlan picks up Cloaksy. Wow. And look at this, Lupo finding more eliminations as well. Here's the focus. Aiden says, yay. It's a little bit of a high ground right there. Maybe we want to snatch this up. It is in the zone. He does have material to hold it as well. Nick 30 still in the game. You see down there, Symphony as well. So many players still alive. Tifu's still in this game. He's got a baller. He's jumping in and out that vehicle. Aiden lands right on top of Power and wins the exchange. Down goes Power. It's his high ground now. You can see Lost King lands right inside with this duo. Kind of finishes him up. So Aiden is doing so good right now because they have seven eliminations now. Man, Rob is doing so good working with Aiden. You know, when we talked with him in the player lounge, he's like, look, look, I know Aiden. I know Aiden's very good. Whatever he does, I'm just going to follow, right? And you can That's see right. they're, they're playing so well together. Whatever Aiden calls, Rob is ready to follow up on this and back him up. Oh, that's that's right there. Oh, it's oh. Nick! Another knock, Zeke. That's it. He's gone. He's been eliminated. That duo is out, especially at the top five. But it's okay. Look how many big names are still left. Bucky, KU, and Tifu. Rob from Lost King goes down. Aiden's got to respond fast. He's got to do something. Yes, he's in this game right now to win it. He just took out another player. Aiden is on it, and he's got the high ground. Tifu goes down to Bucky. Or KU in there. KU's still in this game. It's a 1v1 now. Bye bye, KU. This is Aiden versus Bucky. Two World Cup qualifiers going toe to toe right here. What's he gonna do? This is like a little bit of a playground battle. He's holding that high ground. You know what's a nice little one twos? He does have 700 materials. Well, still, no cartwheel. You know, showing him that he's here. <laughs> Let's show. Aiden here. He wants this. He's so hungry for this extra points coming out. He old. Oh, so yes, close. Cheeky. The shot missed, but it's okay. Right now, Aiden's got health advantage. Bucky's is about on 100. Okay, excuse me. 85 effective HP. He wants this. Look at this. Aiden's just supplying pressure. Oh, tries to go high ground. This might have been a mistake. This is Aiden. We're talking about more damage over on the shields. Bucky's down to nothing. And Aiden. Victory Royale. So close in the final moments. Bucky, with all that pressure on his shoulder, could not handle Aiden, who was stone cold.